Hey Gary, I know you recently made a change in your life to make fitness more of a priority for you. How did you choose the fitness professional that's coaching you? How did I choose Mike? Yes. Look at this monster walking in. <laughs> 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 you were beating up everybody too much or something? Hey. How you doing, love? How are you? Alright, what's up, Mike? What's up, man? Get in here. How you doing? Alright, let's go. Looking smaller. What's going on? I do like you thinning out a little bit. I like it too. Summertime, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. All right, Mike, why don't you tell everybody real quick who you are and then we'll answer. I mean, I'll actually answer that question so we can go right into the next question. It's very easy. A lot of things in life are just relationship based. Two, three years ago, or three years ago, or three and a half years ago, I tried to get my health going for real. I put out to social media thinking that's what I was going to be accountable to, the peer pressure. You want to get in here, my man? I, I thought the, uh, good to see you. you well? I thought I was going to, uh, uh, succumb to the peer pressure of social media to hold me accountable. So I said, I need to get work out. Uh, John Roman, who we re- mentioned earlier, got his community to like sh- shout me out heavily. I should be your guy. Great, I picked him. That was my relationship. Mike was his intern. That was the relationship. So I picked my person based on relationships. Mike and I actually worked out together unsuccessfully before we got into this for five or six months where I worked out four times eight times in four months and canceled 19 times on his way to my gym because I hadn't made the mental shift. So to answer the question, uh, on relationship.